Greeting students, I am Poonam. Welcome you all to class 10th Social Science Economics Chapter Number 2 Sectors of the Indian Economy. This is the first podcast of the chapter. In today's session, we will be discussing about the term sectors, economic activities and its classification. So let us start understanding what are economic activities. The activities are undertaken with the objective to earn money are called economic activities. Some of these activities produce goods and other produce services. Activities are classified in various groups which are known as sectors. Sector defines a large segment of the economy. On the basis of nature of economic activities, sectors can be further classified as primary sector, secondary sector and tertiary sector. Primary sector of the economy involves conversion of natural resources into primary products. Thus, this sector is directly associated with nature. This includes agriculture, forestry, fishing, mining and extraction of oil and gas. Since most of the natural products are obtained from agriculture, dairy, fishing, forestry etc. So that is why this is also called as agricultural and related sector. Now we are moving to the second type that is secondary sector. This sector covers activities in which natural products are changed into other forms through manufacturing. The manufacturing may take place in a factory, workshop or at home. For example, yarn and cloth weaving from cotton fibers, sugar or gur from sugar cane. Since the development in secondary sector became associated with different kinds of industries, it is also called the industrial sector. The third type is the tertiary sector. The activities that help in the development of primary and secondary sectors are covered in tertiary sector. These activities do not produce goods but they provide or generate services that support the production processes like transportation, storage, communication, banking, etc. Thus, this is also known as service sector. This sector also includes some essential services provided by professionals like doctors, lawyers, teachers, barbers, etc. and IT such as software industry, internet cafe, ATM booths and call centers. The classification of economic activities into primary, secondary and tertiary is useful on account of the information it provides on how and where the people of economy or country are employed. Also, this helps in understanding as to which sector of economic activity contributes how much to country's GDP and per capita income. It tells the economic planners as to which sector requires development and how much. From the analysis, new ways of development could be devised like if the tertiary sector is developing much faster then the primary sector, it implies that more measures should be taken to increase productivity in agriculture. Thank you.